New information in the panhandle tonight, less than 24 hours after OSBI recovered two bodies and arrested four people facing kidnapping and other murder charges over the weekend. This comes two weeks after Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly disappeared. Fox 25's David Chazanoff has been reading through the court documents. David, what have you found out? Court documents reveal the situation between Butler and one of the suspects has actually been escalating since February. Court documents Fox 25 received Monday uncovered details about two missing Kansas women, Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. OSBI says this all started because of a lengthy custody battle between Butler and one of the suspects, Tiffany Adams, the children's grandmother. Records show the teenage daughter of Cora Twombly, one of the women arrested in the case, spoke with OSBI agents. According to the affidavit, she told agents there had been attempts to kill Butler near Hugoton, Kansas, but Butler wouldn't leave her house. The OSBI says this story matched up with what Adams looked up on her phone beforehand how to get someone out of a house. Cora told agents the original plan was to throw an anvil through Butler's windshield while driving to make it look like an accident, quote, because anvils regularly fall off of work vehicles. That attempt takes us to March 29th, which is when the teen says the Twombly's told her they wouldn't be home because they were going to be on a mission. Court documents say the pair told the teen later that things had not gone as planned, but that they would not have to worry about Butler again. Because on March 30th, Butler and Kelly traveled from Kansas to the Oklahoma Panhandle to pick up the kids. Kelly was supervising. The teen told agents that Cora and Cole admitted to blocking the road to stop Butler and Kelly and divert them to where Adams, Tad Colum, and another person were. Law enforcement found Butler and Kelly's car near the Four Corners region. They described seeing evidence of severe injury, which included blood on the road, Butler's glasses near a broken hammer, and a pistol magazine. According to the affidavit, agents found two of three prepaid burner phones Adams bought at a property below a dam near a pasture about eight and a half miles away from where Butler's car was found. Agents said they found a hole had been dug and filled back in and then covered with hay at that location. According to court documents, the teen told agents that the suspects, Cora, her husband Cole Twombly, Adams, and Colum, were all part of an anti-government religious group called God's Misfits. Wrangler Rickman, the father of the children, was in a rehab facility when Butler and Kelly disappeared. A custody hearing was originally scheduled for Wednesday of this week, and Butler's attorney tells OSBI that Butler was likely to receive unsupervised visitation. Authorities say Butler's children are safe and the suspects are facing murder, kidnapping and conspiracy charges.